Hi everyone, Louis here, and have you ever wanted to just explore around the Shinaris Plus map for Daisy Standalone without having to worry about getting shot in the back, or you're just too lazy to walk to places? Well, if the answer to that question is no, then this probably isn't the right video for you, and ignore that dead man on the floor, I'm sure he's fine. I thought he is dead, so that's probably not too good. But yeah, if the answer to that question is yes, however, then you are in luck. I only found out about this recently, but it's very easy to port over the Shinaris Plus map, onto armor 3 and I'm guessing armor 2 as well was a video which I've seen by BRT TRP which I'll have a link to in the description below which has a, a lovely tutorial on how to do it it's very simple just copy and paste the folder from Daisy Standalone put it in armor 3 enable it in the expansions and kaboom you're now able to explore around the world of Shinaris Plus which is of course very different to the normal Shinaris in armor 2 without having to worry about people shooting you in the back so since I've got this opportunity, I thought I'd show you guys some places which you might not have seen before, and also since it was recently a big update for Daisy Standalone, I thought I'd also show you some of the newer, cool buildings which are up north. Originally, this city, mm, you guys might have seen it before, it's called Gooba. If you look on the map right here, there's a little dock, and originally in Shadaris was nothing here. But now there's a small city, and they've added quite a lot of these new buildings, and as a whole, the city just looks pretty cool. So we're going to have a, a look around it and talk about some of the, the mad. I just went to lock my car for some reason. I've played too much Alter's Life. But we're going to talk a bit about the potential. Well, not really the potential, but the, the ideas and the things you can do with this now being a possibility, although it has been a possibility for a long time. I just didn't realise. But this right here is one of the new buildings found in the city. I don't think this building is anywhere down south. As far as I know, this is the only one on the map. I'm probably wrong since this was just added in a new update. As far as I can see, it's like a prison building and you can open up every single door. Like literally every single door, which is awesome. And you've even got a lovely prison cell right here. It is a bit buggy, so you will find that to get through, through some doors, you might struggle a bit since, you know... Um, this map wasn't exactly designed for armor 3, but other than that, it works pretty good. Uh, just struggle a bit on the stairs. There is that one door right there which you can't get through, but I'm looking forward to seeing what combat's like inside this lovely building. It's a big building. I'd imagine it's probably got military loot in it, and it gives people a reason to venture up north. I'm not really sure what exactly the building is supposed to be. It does kind of look like a, a police building, but at the same time, it's got a prison cell in it. But that's, yeah, it's probably just a police building. But it's a bit of a weird design for a police building if I've ever seen one before. Let's go ahead and show you guys the rest of this anyway, since you probably haven't seen it already since the patch did just come out. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good building. I'd give it 10 size out of 10. And there is a few other buildings as well, which I haven't seen before, which I will show you guys in a second. And you can also go on top of the roof right here as well. So it's pretty cool. And you can have a, an explore around the map. I mean, say for example, you've never been down in Skaliski Island on standalone because you're too lazy to swim over there. Well, you can just teleport to there using the editor and check it out for yourself. So that's where I am right now. I haven't actually seen this before in Daisy Standalone because, like I just said, I'm too lazy to swim over. So I'll see if there's anything over here. But I don't think there is really anything too big which has been changed. But it just allows people to go wherever the hell they want. Check out certain locations, buildings which you might not have been in before. This place does look rather normal though. So I'm going to go back up north and give you guys a bit more of a tour. And then we'll talk about other stuff. But you can see, you just exit out. Go on the lovely editor. Bring your dudes up north. And uh, all of a sudden, I will be back up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this guy up here. And then we will continue from here instead. So I need to kill the dirty little civilian inside the car again. But with the possibility of having this on armor, it doesn't mean you can actually play this on standalone if you really wanted. You can place AI and practice shooting them if you really want to. You can change the time of day. You can obviously, like I've just shown you guys, teleport to wherever the hell you want. It's, it's pretty useful. Can't complain. There's another building which I forget exactly where it is, but I do want to show you guys that one quickly. It's like a hospital kind of building. There's also this uh, town city kind of area for statue right here as well, which looks pretty cool, I thought. With a... Uh, um, church. That's, that's what those things are called. Church right there as well. So let's see if I can find that building quickly. But you might not have seen some of these buildings as well before. The only place which I know where these are other than here is Leningorsk because Leningorsk has had some big changes. And since this city has been built from the ground up, this one has got quite a lot of these new objects like that right there. Those weren't in armor 2 either, um, which you might not have seen before. And on top of that, we do have the railway track actually, which goes all the way along the top. And also the main roads which go all the way along the top. So there's a main road that actually goes all the way around the map now. Which, since there's no cars in Sandown right now, you can try out what it's like to have a car. I mean, this isn't exactly the best example. The best example even. Because it's so goddamn fast. But you get the idea. It's going to be fun when cars are eventually in Sandown. 
And I'm not sure if I've added anything extra over here, but it doesn't look like it. Let's gonna go for a quick tour and see what it's like over here. I mean, it is a bit bare right now up north, but you can imagine once I've added some buildings up here, it is going to be a really attractive place to be. Could change the spawns a bit to make you spawn pretty close to here, although you do currently spawn in Beresino. So, it doesn't take too long to get over here. But, you know, it's a big road. It's fun to drive along. What can I say? But I think I do want to show you guys a hospital building. And also, a good thing about single player as well, is you can press this button and... Oh, shit! Everyone calm down. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You can press plus on your numpad and you can go faster than anyone's ever seen before. So, if you want to go that fast, then you can do that. But yeah, this place does look super bare, but you can see I've drove for like a short amount of time. And... I'm not on yeah, the end of the map, because this main road goes all the way across the main map. Well, all across the map as a whole. And then there's a massive intersection over here, which I'm going to go check out that quickly. Just out of curiosity. So this place is, uh, it's it's kind of weird. There's a lot of bridges over here. There's three bridges, one there, one there, and one just past that tree line. And it's shit's in a road. There are oh, actually a few builds already here. It looks like most of them are just train stations and whatnot. I'd imagine most people who've played standalone just haven't been here before, because why the fuck would you go here? There's nothing here to loot, really. But, um, again, it's a nice place to have a look at. And as the updates do roll in, just go ahead and copy and paste the folder as you did. Well, if you've installed this map, then you just copy and paste the folder again, and you'll get all of the new updates. So you're able to check out the map again, and get a feel for what that update actually adds. Like, I didn't actually know about those new builds up north, and it seems like not many people do know about those new builds up north in Goober. Because people didn't go there too often before the update. But I just went there because I thought it was a cool city, and I found out things have changed. It's actually heading down south as well, towards, um, well, it's really the middle of nowhere, but you can see we've done a lot of work with all these roads, and they will build on buildings over time for people to loot. So, it's pretty cool. But I'm going to head back to Gooba now and go show you guys that hospital building which I was talking about. Since most of these buildings you can see in here right now, you've probably seen before. Although if you haven't, then you're still more than welcome to have an explore yourself. There we go, this is the house I was looking for. So, you can see again there's some more... Of these cars to loot, since this place has been built from the ground up. I thought, why the hell not use the cars, which you can loot for Mosins and whatnot? Whereas in down south, it might look a bit weird, I guess. But you can see this place right here, I guess, is a hospital. It's got some of these beds in it, some chairs and whatnot. So you will find some more um, medical loot inside here. This is again just an assumption. I haven't actually played it in Daisy Stand on yet, but it's a small building. This is ordnance, and then it's got some Cyrillic right there. These are little uh, offices you can go in, so you can go for one-on-ones with uh, your your doctor or something. And then your doctor will tell you that you're going to die from um, charcoal poisoning or something, because you can totally get around Daisy Standalone. Got some pictures of lungs, you know, brains, that kind of shit. Some good stuff, some high quality shit. This is a storage room, so this is going to be where all the storage is going to be. It's a very nice building though, isn't it? I'm not sure if it's on your other buildings, but I imagine there probably is. And you will actually find, if you do install this as well, using the tutorial, which like I said, it's in the description below. Um, that you have got your hands on some of the test maps as well. In which you can actually look at some of the buildings which are still a work in progress. The main one which is interesting is a massive prison building, I believe it is. Which is eventually... I mean, if you guys didn't know about it already. But we did have plans on having UTES in the bottom right of the map. So once UTES is eventually there, which is, I'm guessing, still something we're going to do. The massive prison building is going to be there. And UTES is going to be an interesting place to explore. An end game place, because you're going to have to swim or boat across. But still, a cool place nonetheless. And I don't think there's really anything else in the city to show. Which is a bit of a shame. But if you have been to the city before, you could probably see the differences. It's changed quite a lot. And I think I might go shoot some AI quickly, actually. I love shooting AI. It's great. And it looks like we might have actually fixed that massive drop down, which was originally in the city. Or maybe it is still here somewhere, but it used to be like a really unnatural drop down. I mean, these are slightly steep. But it was one which would actually like break a car every single time you went down it because of how steep it was. But I think that's been fixed now, so that's good. And it looks like we have done some work to a dock area, I believe. Originally, this place was a bit bare. But it looks like this place has now got some stuff in it. So if you are looking for some car parts eventually when cars are on standalone as well. This is uh, maybe a place you might want to check out. There's also the rock face. And I think I'm going to go on that rock right there and have a look over Gooba. So there we go. That's Gooba. It's a really big city and it's definitely a city you should look out for. In fact, if you're playing Daisy Standalone right now, you probably should go to it. Because it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I feel it's probably a city which most people are avoiding. Since they've added the shotgun and whatnot in, there's a decent amount of loot which I'd imagine you would find a shotgun from. 
like for cars and whatnot. There's a lot of cars outside the prison. The prison itself will probably have some kind of uh, military loot. And yeah, I'm gonna go quickly drive off this rock. Woo! No, that's not actually what the plan was, but I did it anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go over to the gas station quickly and and show you guys something. I'm not sure if these uh, Shinoris Plus adventures have been fun to watch, but I have fun adventuring. So if they're not fun to watch, then at least um you've got a way to do it yourself and have the fun yourself. But still. I feel I'm, I'm being very educational today. Anyway, if you guys didn't know about this already, it's actually in Daisy Standalone as well. But most people don't have, um, you know, however much ammo I've got to spare. But you can actually blow up these gas pumps. Go ahead and blow us up quickly. Oh. Where's he running to? Get on the floor, mate. He's not going to get on the floor, is he? Maybe he will. Let's just sprint down. And you also get a good idea as to how ragdolls are going to work once they are added in Standalone. But let's blow up this pump anyway. Which pump was I even shooting this one right here? So if I just keep on shooting this thing, eventually you'll notice it does something weird. Just like that. So, if you ever want to kill your friend, tell him, hit the gas pump, Jimmy. I promise I won't kill you, and it will kill them. That is if you hate Jimmy. If you don't hate Jimmy, then don't do that. Uh, but yeah, I just blew up my sports car as well. It does look a bit cooler in Daisy Stanlone, I think. The, the decals are a bit different on this game, since, you know, it's not using the same assets. But it's still pretty cool. And this is also a new gas station, which wasn't here before the update. And you can do nothing here because there's no cars in the game. But once there is cars in the game again, there's something to do there. I think the next place I'm going to go to is... I'm going to think about it and it'll be cool. I want to go to a place which I've never been to before in Stanlon. Which there's quite a lot of places, so I'll work something out. I'm sure. So, this place might be... This place you guys might recognize, but I thought I'd just demonstrate. A great thing you can do as well. You can do some 10, 10 pin bowling. So, you know, those guys over there. They don't see me until eventually I go like, ah, and then we'll just fly like that. Oh, and then you can do some target practice as well. I mean, you can put these guys inside buildings, but you know, that's too hard for me, so I'm just doing it a plebby way and just shooting these guys. Go away! Ow! That grenade was terrible. And also, if you do die while playing this, you can't respawn, so. This isn't exactly an area which I haven't seen before. It's actually Chernogos, but you can have a, a view of it from above if you want. You can see your three different uh, residential areas with a massive skyscraper. There's that one to my left, that one in front, and that one right in front of me. Almost crashed, but that's okay. And I think I'm going to head up north and go check out Devil's Castle, because I've never been there before. So this right here is Devil's Castle. As far as I know, there hasn't actually been anything changed to it, but I thought I'd check it out anyway. But, I mean... If you've got armor free and you've got Daisy Standalone, just try it out. You can have an explorer on a map, you can teleport anywhere instantly, and if there's any updates, then you'll be able to immediately know what those updates actually add. And I'd imagine if you know how to do it properly, you can actually spawn in weapons as well. The only problem is you need to know the weapon class name, which I don't know, but you probably can spawn in weapons from Daisy Standalone as well, since you have just copied and pasted the add-ons folder, as you would have seen in the tutorial, but, you know, why not do it? In fact, even if you don't own Daisy Standalone, not that I recommend it, but you could, in theory, take the add-ons folder and put it in armor free and there's nothing armor free is going to do it's not going to be like whoa you don't own daisy standalone buddy it doesn't matter i'm not recommending it definitely buy the game but i'm sure most of you guys own it anyway but you can in theory do that that's, that's all i was trying to say but anyway i think i've shown you guys pretty much everything there is to show which aka isn't actually that much i mean if i was going for an entire explorer and the map which if i knew about this earlier i would have done since you know you've been able to do it since it's been released it's just i didn't know exactly how to do it and i was too lazy to look into it but yeah i'll leave a link to the tutorial in the description below i'd highly recommend checking it out but it is super simple if you've got any issues and you want help then i don't know, leave a comment and i will try to help you out if you don't know how to use the editor or something like that but it's it's all pretty self-explanatory but thanks a lot for watching hopefully you guys learned a thing or two from this video it seems like not many people know that this is a thing you can do and like i mentioned a million times why not try it out? I mean, I didn't even know there was a farm there. Look at that. There's a farm right there. Like, all the way over here. Who knew there was a farm up here? I mean, not that there's a reason to go here, but yeah, it's a farm. Amazing. But thanks a lot for watching. Like I said, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.